I got my smoker going. Lost my voice from a cold I'm fighting, but I'm out here at the bee yard. I got some nuke boxes set up. Today I'm gonna to be making five frame nukes and splitting some of these stronger colonies. I'm using the Jester's Easy Nukes here. I like these boxes. I have five new frames with foundation in each one and I'm gonna be going through these colonies I'm splitting and taking two frames of bees and brood and one frame of feed putting those in the nuke boxes and then bringing them to a different yard and then giving them queen cells tomorrow. So I just take three frames out of the middle, set those over here. Smoker falling apart on me. There we go. So now I'm just getting into the brood nest. Ideally, I'd like to find the queens, but I'm making so many splits today. I'm just gonna look for them carefully. Try to make sure she's not on the frames that I split. So I'm looking for a frame with some feed. This one's perfect. It has nectar and pollen in there. A lot of bees. Look and make sure the queen's not on there. Put that on the outside. Now I'm looking for two frames of brood preferably cap brood hatching out this one looks perfect got a lot of cap brood hatching out it's going to give me a nice boost in nurse bees same thing over here <clears throat> just want to make sure the queen's not on there looks good One more frame of brood. There's another good one. Right there. I'll look carefully for the queen. Don't see a queen. That in there, and that is what my nucleus colony looks like. They have two frames on the outside to draw out. I'll bring this to another yard, give it a queen cell, give it a bucket of sugar syrup, and then wait a few weeks to check back on it. So now I have these frames that were already in here pushed all together towards the middle. And then I'm gonna take my new frames, put those on the outside. And this is gonna help this colony to have room to grow as the spring nectar flow is just about to get started. They're also laying up in this top box and this is going to help me with swarm control as well.
I have 12 nukes made up from this yard. I'm gonna grab some more boxes and keep splitting. So I'm heading out of this first yard. I made 15 <clears throat> total splits and um, I left three of them there. It was from a colony that was hot. So I killed the queen and just split into the three nukes, but I wanna keep those separate from all my other ones until they get requeened and um, get some time to calm down. But I have 12 nucleus colonies in the back bringing to another yard. And then I just grabbed a bunch of pro nuke boxes that I had in storage and I'm my plan is to go to this next yard and just split everything up there into nukes and requeen everything um, a lot of the colonies at this yard are kind of straggler bees from nukes that didn't get sold last year um, or um, I have some removal colonies here so I just want to get everything requeened at this yard and give it a fresh start so I'm just gonna break it all the way down um, turn everything into nukes. Well, I just made it out here to the Great Bay Bee Yard with these 12 nukes, and I got some space on these hive stands. I'm gonna put them on these, and then also I have a bunch of pro nuke boxes that I'm going to break down a lot of the rest of these colonies into nuke boxes and requeen everything. So I've been making three nucleus colonies out of one. I have the one that has the queen marked, laying queen, and then these are marked splits. I'll know to put queen cells in these ones. Same over here from this other colony, laying queen, no queen, no queen. So I'm just going through all the stronger colonies I'm gonna make three nukes out of. So 
sometimes you just come across the perfect frame. Brood and pollen, nectar and honey, a little bit of everything. Well, I got all my splits made. I ran out of water. I'm thirsty, ready to go get some water. But here they are. All these nukes. And I'll be coming back out here tomorrow and putting queen cells in each one of these.